we came to writing the film, I wanted to chuck out much more of the play than it was Ron Howard who who urged me to to stick with the play as much as possible. And so whenever it came to an opportunity to come up with something new, I said, oh, let me do something new, let me do something new to sort of, you know, to, 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 to distance it. And he said, no, 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 you know, trust it, trust it. And that worked pretty well and let me film it. And, you know, so I, I was really all set to go about a huge demolition job and, and reconstruction job. And, and it actually is closer to the play than a lot than I would have ever imagined. I'd have, you know, I'm always about to take, uh, a, you know, a chainsaw to my own work, and I often have to be persuaded to keep it. You know, uh, my, if I've got a fault, it would be to, to, to overwrite. You know, that is to say, to, to, to not trust what I've done and to, and to destroy it and then rebuild it again. You know, to constantly keep fiddling. I think that it's it, right. Screenwriting is tough because I think. Well, any writing is tough because it doesn't have that allure. It doesn't, you know, it's... Uh, um, particularly screenwriters, they're mostly anonymous too and they're mostly abused and they're mostly bitter. I would argue that it has quite a negative image, writing, and um, uh, which I think is very sad because it's, made, it's, it's a life that's made me very happy. But the, the, but the moment I really started engaging with cinema in a way that it transported me and that I thought this is a world I want to belong to or be part of or just touch in any shape or form where you sort of are in love um, was came probably I was about 13 14 and it started at a cinema club at the school that I was at and um, one particularly you know uh, forward-thinking teacher would bring these films and, and the cinema club, there were very few of us that were interested. It's, you know, what's shocking to me now is how few of us were interested in films like The Conversation, The French Connection, Taking of Pelham 1, 2, 3. Films, you know, from the 1970s, early, you know, uh, Dog Day Afternoon, Scarface, you know, all, all these great American cinema of the 70s. And that's what I grew up in, and you know that's what that that, that was my formative period. You know that that's what made me fall in love with the medium, made me fall in love with it, everything to do with it. And uh, uh, you know from that moment on, I knew what I wanted to do, even though I didn't know quite how to get there. I think it's an excellent film. I hope everybody uh, will in, in, in enjoy it. It opens here in, in Dublin, I think the 28th of February. Um, the performances are amazing. The, the girl uh, uh, who's from Montreal actually, uh, who, who, who plays Liesl is fantastic. She, she really is. So I'm hoping that uh, the reaction this evening will be fantastic. I've always been a supporter of the festival and I think it's an excellent idea and an excellent thing to, to happen. And I, I, I know they had a fantastic evening with uh, Calvary last night. I, I wasn't there, but I have, have seen the film and it's, it, it's, it's very good. It is an international film, but, but, but the kind of, the smaller films that perhaps wouldn't get the, um, the exposure. It, it's good to see those as well. Well, Stay is based on a book and it's written by a Canadian woman and it's set in uh, Connemara in Canada. Uh, in the book, actually, it's not Montreal. In the book, it's in, in Ontario, but I live in Montreal, so I changed it for uh, Montreal. Uh, what attracted me to the book was that it's about a woman who's not living in the place that she's from. And that's an experience that I share. I'm from Germany, but I live in Canada for many years. And I feel there are many of us that are displaced or you know immigrants to a different place and that are searching for a home and stay is a film about a group of people searching for a place to stay a place to call home it is extremely nerve-wracking to show this film in ireland uh, i was very much looking forward to but now that it's coming close to the hour i'm getting increasingly nervous like a lot of the cast is going to be there a lot of the crew who are absolutely amazing and i just hope that uh, you know they like what i've done with their work well, being a female director is a very difficult journey and it's an absolute uphill battle and i'm actually glad you're asking this question i don't know how many female directors there are at this film festival but uh, in Canada, it's less than 9% making films. In the US, it's now less than 6%. And it's actually getting worse. So 
If you want to make a lot of money, don't become a director. <laughs> if you have a lot of stamina and, uh, you, you know, uh, patience, uh, absolutely do it, but it is an uphill battle, there is no doubt about it. But I think we need more females doing it and we need more female stories. And I think it's really important that we also talk about the fact that there are so few of us. Well, when I was asked to play Jack Kerouac in Big Sur, um, first of all, I read On the Road at 18 and, and took it to heart and just started living in suitcases and traveling, came to Europe, went to England, went to France. He was part of my life. He, I think uh, the generation of the people who were born in the 60s, a little bit the 50s, but the 60s and 70s, Jack Kerouac was, was very important. And so as I was researching Kerouac and reading the biographies and things like that, uh, the thing that I realized was there's nothing to play. Uh, he'd influenced me in my aesthetics, he'd influenced me in the way that I lived my life, and when I was confronted with playing him, uh, I wanted to play the spirit, and I wanted to play the language, which Big Sur really is a, a film uh, which displays the beauty of, of Kerouac's language. It was funny because I couldn't, um, I didn't want to imitate uh, Kerouac. I wanted to play him from, from myself. And so I really found it in the language. The real study of the character, I think, was in, in Big Sur, uh, we are witnessing a man who's become an incredible success. And the success has kind of um, petrified him into a celebrity that he cannot escape. And in realizing that, decides to assume a slow suicide with alcohol. And, and so what was really important for me in Big Sur was the language, but also showing a little bit the variations of, of alcoholism and, and, and how it destroys somebody. And so, so for me, uh, Big Sur, in comparison with On the Road, which is a different kind of style, more kind of existentialist style in the writing, Big Sur is more like Thomas Wolfe of, of the 19th century, where, or like Proust, where you have one, one thought feeding another thought, feeding another thought, feeding another thought. And it's, it's prose and poetry at the same time. And uh, so I really wanted to try and show a human being who was Canadian, Irish, Indian, uh, and French, uh, who was desperately trying to prove to the world that he was a great writer and also trying to prove to the world also, also that he was an American, it was important for him. <laughs> <laughs>